What's going on guys and welcome back to the UTSA Offline Dynasty at NCAA Football 13. It's been a tough season now. We're 0-6. We have not played a losing team up until this point, And our combined opponent's record so far that we've played is, I don't know how many wins, but only two losses on the entire year for our opponents. And so this is our first matchup that we actually have uh, against a losing record opponent in the Rice Owls. So we travel to Houston now to take them on. And they're off to a good start already. But they have a couple other players who have since graduated. I remember in the first year of this series, we had Sam McGuffey running all over us. If you've never heard of Sam McGuffey, he was a guy who was hurtling everybody in high school and then went to Michigan and transferred to Rice and he tore us apart in our first year. But here we are in this game now and we hold them to four and one or fourth down and one and they attempt a long field goal and I'm like, whoa, they're not going to have a chance at this. But that was really close right there. That was a long field goal attempt. It was no good and now it is UTSA football. Eric Souza dropping back to pass quick strike. Right side, it's caught in the slot by Kenny Harrison for a short gain. Setting up third down and six for Souza. Twin tight ends. Glasgow to his right. Remember, Evans Okacha is injured right now. And the quick fire outside is caught by Brandon Freeman for a first down as they're playing very soft coverage, but now faced with third down and ten. Can they keep this alive? Souza out of the gun, facing pressure, throws it outside. It's caught by Glasgow out of the backfield. He gets a first down for the runners as they get inside the 35 yard line. Third down and seven now for Souza out of the gun once more. He throws it right side deep. It's caught by Brandon Freeman, and he's into the end zone. A great route, a great throw. And UTSA finds himself with an early lead, now 7-0. You can see his route here. It's a corner strike route, as I call it, because it has like three breaks on it. And he makes a great catch, and the defensive back never really stood a chance with his route running. And the Rice Owls take the field again. Taylor McCarg taken off their quarterback. He breaks a tackle, actually. That's Steven Kerfes, and nobody breaks his tackles. Third and four, quick strike to the outside, caught by the back, Peterson, and he is stopped. Uh, short for a loss actually and they're gonna punt the football now and wait a minute here we have a flag on the play and they're gonna call encroachment but if you go back and watch one of our outside contain guys jumped off sides there, Kyle Nichols. I wasn't controlling him, and so I had no, I couldn't do anything about it. I just feel like we're getting screwed now, and uh, Rice gets the ball back, obviously. They complete a pass for a first down, second and 14, and the worst option in history. They lose 10 yards. McHarg really thought he could get something there. It's third down and 24. Taylor in the pocket. He's going to throw it deep left side. It's caught by A.J. Horn, and he is short of the first down by five yards, but that does put them in a long distance field goal situation and 59 yards he hits it home this time the accuracy was good and wow that guy's gonna be in the NFL one day if he's actually that good but it's a uh, UTSA ball now Sozo rolling outside and he's gonna call his own number and get the first down for the the UTSA Roadrunners now first and 10 handoff Glasgow trying to go outside and not a whole lot of running room but he finds four yards a decent carry setting up second down and six now Souza steps back in the pocket throws right side it's intercepted and those outside routes can be jumped so easily especially on Heisman difficulty it's a pick six for the Rice Owls and it's now 10 to 7 as here is Oscar Bridges one of the recruits I, dr I got last year not drafted and that is his first carry, and he gets a nice gain. Now second down in nine. Souza stepping back in the pocket. Short over the middle. It's caught by Cam Jones, but three yards is really not going to help us that much. So third and six. Got to get the conversion here. Souza has two receivers right. Twin tight ends. Takes a snap. He's going to fire right side, and Freeman makes another catch on third down. He is my go-to guy. Very sure-handed possession receiver. Third and 14, though, for Souza. And he goes outside, and there was a tight window there for Harrison. It was just a great play on the ball to knock it away. And it's going to be Rice football coming up now. Taylor McCarg out of the shotgun in the pocket. Not much of a pass rush. He's trying to escape, and he does find a little bit of a crease, and he's going to get the first down. So obviously we have to be sure we can contain the quarterback and we call some more spies. And they're going to do another read option play. Go outside now. Caught by the tight end Kubiak who breaks a tackle and breaks off another tackle. And that's a touchdown for the Rice Owls as we cannot take down their tight end. And he goes into the end zone. So now we're back.
back on offense with a two-score deficit now. Up the gut following as fullback Brandon Armstrong goes David Glasgow for a first down. And then Glasgow on second and four gets two. So we have third and short looking for a conversion, keeping it in the I formation now. Souza under center drops back. Pressure incoming. It's a pass off. It's caught by Armstrong. And he's going to look at the wheels on Armstrong. He evades the linebackers. He's inside the 20-yard line. A 47-yard catch by our fullback who is actually very good at receiving the football. And so now counterplay Oscar Bridges trying to go outside he gets four yards here they contain the outside pretty well now second and six power play here comes Glasgow and whoa there was a guy out there he come off a sideline and make that tackle I don't know why he was so far outside but it works third and four now Cam Jones in motion Eric Souza back to pass and he doesn't like what he sees he wanted to take off didn't want to force a pass we will take the shot on field goal and go to the second half now with our seven point deficit and we are continuing to play out of the I formation. I typically don't have a fullback when I play any football game, but right now it's working really effectively. So first and 10, now we set him up, play action, and Souza goes over the middle, short to Glasgow. First down as he approaches midfield, as Glasgow is really having a lot of success now out of these I form sets. But now we go single back, and Souza quick underneath the Jeremiah Moeller. Good for about six yards, as that's going to get a second down and four. And now we go stretch play outside, and Glasgow has a little bit of running room, no fullback necessary this time as he converts and he has 53 rushing yards now on 13 carries starting to find some success as we put Brandon Armstrong back on the field and Oscar Bridges is going to go untouched for the touchdown the first in his UTSA football career Brandon Armstrong made a great block on the safety and maybe he was the key that we need to get this offense rolling a little bit better and we have the momentum now it's 17 apiece and McHard can't escape the pocket Stephen Kerfez is there that results in a loss of four. The McHarg hands the ball off to Turner Peterson, and he goes and finds room for a first down. UTSA cannot give up chunks like that. And so on third and one now, we're going to spy a safety, but they catch the play action. Go long. It's caught by Hull, and Eric Brown can't catch him. Touchdown, Owls. I was completely thinking run there, and they cut just the play action pass. So now back on offense, Glasgow stopped at the line of scrimmage as Rice is trying to figure out how to stop this I-form running game. Third and ten now for Eric Souza, and his pass is behind Cam Jones. And that's an incompletion causing fourth down and a punt. McCarr hands the ball off to Turner Peterson. Great blocking downfield. No one touches him until he gets the first down and more to the 30-yard line. Now they face second down and inches. Peterson in motion takes the... No, they're going to fake it. And McCarr gets the first down himself just barely. And they're inside the red zone now, but facing third down and five here. Trying to hold him to a field goal. McCarr taking off. He's got the first down, and he's tackled inside the five-foot. Fumbles the ball, and is recovered by the Owls. They catch a major break there. And now have first and goal from the one yard line. They're going to go option left side of McHarg. He is tackled immediately for a loss of six. A very bad play there on first and goal. And now on second down, McHarg finds his man Anderson underneath. And he's going to be tackled short of the first down, or short of the end zone, I should say. And so third and goal. They go option, and McHarg escapes the tackle, and he gets the touchdown himself. And Rice now assumes a 31-17 lead. They're starting to pull away here in the fourth quarter. Souza finds Cam Jones first down short of the 40-yard line as we have to get some bigger chunks now to get these touchdowns. And then Souza under pressure. He goes down. He had Glasgow underneath wide open, but the blitz got to him too quickly. Second down and long now for Souza rolling out of the pocket. He wants to look for Moeller. He finds him. He had a little bit of separation. He's tackled shy of the first down marker by just inches and so third down for Souza quick pass to Cam Jones it's caught for a first down as Cam is shaken up but at least we get a new set of downs to work with Souza under center going long left side he overthrows Josiah Monroe so second down and 10 now Glasgow taking the draw out of the backfield he has a little bit of running room it closes quickly he gets six that'll be third and four coming up now as we have three receivers out, Jeremiah Moeller, the tight end, is in. Souza going long. Whoa, that should have been an interception. I had Moeller short open, but if you go back and watch that play, I had a little bit of separation on that end row. It was just a very, very bad throw. Fourth down and four now. Wide open, Jeremiah Moeller over the middle. And Souza must have been really fatigued because the two pass throws were just not even close. 
and then Taylor McHarg finds a lot of running room on this read option play and Rice is looking to close this game out now inside of two minutes third and eight he goes end zone caught by AJ Horn it's a touchdown for Rice that would essentially clinch the game with a three score lead you can see here number 82 AJ Horn gets off of the bump and run coverage and makes the catch at the back of the end zone and that ends the game it is a final score of 38 to 17 as the Rice Owls knock off the UTSA Roadrunners and we move to 0 and 7 on the year not a win yet but it's it, we have a really tough schedule for the type of team we are maybe next year got to schedule some more cupcakes that are more of our ranking I don't think we've played a D team yet or a D plus I think we're a C minus overall but you can see some of the recruits are going after and we're in first place for I'm really confident we can get a good team together for next year to be a little more competitive if you see we have a lot of 70 overall prospects that are actually interested in coming here and if you look at our roster we have 380 overalls I think one of those is like a punter or something and so we have a lot of low rated players but hopefully year three will have a lot more successes we're 0 and 7 we're not going to a bowl game but next up we play Southern Mississippi as we try to get our first win on the year hopefully we can do it and not go to 0 and 8 but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a like and check out these two videos if you have not seen them as well. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.